I've got Storm out and her and Riggs are getting ready to go home today, so we want to put a little bit on tape. And I don't like taping on the last day they go home, but the weather has really come up the last few days. It's all been all, all weird. But, you know, it's, it's um, you know, we're getting them out and getting them videotaped. We want you guys to come back for class. You know, you said sometimes when they're walking and, and they're walking together, they kind of go after each other. Well, I haven't done any of that because really individually they needed the one-on-one -on -one attention you know you start getting two dogs out together and one does something wrong and the other one does something right and you start really kind of feeding off of this do i do it right or do i do it wrong which one's the which one's which one's in the right so you know honestly i advise that at least the first week that you have them home take them out 10 minutes each don't do them together take them out individually get them out and get them um, work and you know and making work through all of the commands and make sure they are really good at doing every single one of them on their own I'm still getting wet <laughs> um, but doing it, all these individual commands on their own before you start putting them together um, and then that way you know which one's not going to do something so you can say good to the one that's doing it right and no to the one that's doing it wrong and, and kind of start distinguishing the difference between the two uh, Storm is always the one that's at the back of the pen. She doesn't always like to come out, so I really do make her go first. And, and um, I think that in itself is another key, you know, is, is Riggs has a little bit more dominant personality, um, you know, when it comes to being up front. Um, so that may key, key into some of those issues that she's trying to wrest the control from him when they go for walks. All right, Miss Storm, let's see if we can get this done before we blow away. Want to go? All right, let's go. Even though the weather's not conducive to this, we're going to get it out and get it done. Stay. So, no. I may have a few more corrections than I normally would. Stay. But again, in the panhandle, we don't always get the most perfect weather. So, it's not ever a bad idea to have to work through some of these weather problems. Wind especially. Get out to the end of the leash. You should be able to tug, and she should tug back. And she should sit and stay for up to a minute. So I would start dragging out those times a little bit and making her just really sit there and behave. I'm not going to do a lot of that this morning. This wind is just not conducive to that. She's going to make mistakes. No. Okay. Okay is the release. Okay, she can get up. And it took me a bit to get to that okay, so she has to wait the whole time. All right. Back. No. Go ahead, sit. Okay, let's go. She's also the one that chases critters. Um, she nearly jerked me off my feet after a grasshopper the other day. Hey, pay attention. Good. Stay. Out to the end. Movement side to side. She kind of tab dances a little bit both ways, but it's not bad enough that I'm correcting it because it's not more than just her paying attention and watching me. Now, if she was getting up from the sit or her bottom was getting up, I would correct it. No. Good girl, okay. Okay is the get up command. Back. Good. Good girl. I know, that's a little bouncy off. Good. Come on. Good, let's go. Easy. So change of pace. No, you got to keep walking. Keep walking. Good. To a slow and a fast. Good girl. Okay. Storm down. Stay.
No, down. She's got to wait. Even though I'm getting in my pocket for a treat, I'm going to release her. Okay. But I want to wait for that okay. Play. Whoops. Freebie. Ready? Get it. Whoops. Storm, come. Hurry, 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 hurry. All the way. That leash is chasing you. It's okay. Get it. Storm, come. Get it. Storm, come. Ah, ah, ah. No sniff. Come. I don't want her being distracted by the ground, so I'm going to correct that. Put her back on leash a little bit so I can get a pop. Storm, come, hurry. Good. Whoops. Freebie. Get it. Come. The wind took it for me. Get in. Come. That's a good down. Can you come here? Good. <laughs> Typical healer behavior. <laughs> I'm going to come in and lay down. Be prepared to launch at whatever else is out there. Good girl. This wind. Huh. She does pretty good with following along with you when the leash is dropped. Um, I do recommend this to be your off-leash work as far as that goes. So when you're out in your yard, somewhere where you know you've got control, go ahead and drop the leash. No. Like I said, she's a little bit more of your bolter. She has, if she sees something rolling across the ground, she may go after it. That's why I recommend doing it in a fenced-in yard, dropping the leash and just letting her walk around. The same way with the house, if you can put rigs outside and her inside, do the same thing at the house. So if they're running through the door when somebody comes or something like that, you can get a few corrections in um, and that makes life so much simpler. Okay, get it? Store in place. Awesome. Um, Briggs takes over the bed in the run most of the time, um, but when I come in in the morning, they're both always up at the gate, um, you know, ready to see you and eager. So I think they kind of share it during the middle of the day. Um, and I think one bed would be plenty for both dogs but you want to teach both dogs to go lay down. So place is what we use for that. And you can use it as a go lay down or get on your bed, things like that. It's not a kennel command. Get it. Place. Sit. Down. Good. So they have to learn. They can get up, get down, do stuff like that. You can walk around. And they shouldn't get off until they're released. Okay is the release place good girl so if you're wanting them both to do that you might do that on leash with them both kind of in the room so they learn to go lay down if they each have their own bed not an issue just kind of space them out tell one to go place and one to go place so they start learning no good and that's why I say keep a leash on because I just reached down and stepped on the leash I was able to stop her with the no which I think is great but if she was to take off, she would self-correct herself. And that's what I mean by that extra little bit with the leash that she needs a little bit. So she's doing really good. We're going to put her up and get Rick's out and see how he's doing today.